well, I'm not going to make any records for the 100 yard dash, that's for sure. <laughs> Thank you for coming. I'm going to read a poem for Lewis Collins. It's called Psalm to Federico Garcia Lorca. And I'm going to read the first section of the poem. And this is how it starts. Thank you. A tear in the eye of a puppet. Fountains trickling water. Softly splashing. Sil sil soundless and alone. As arms go limp on marionettes. While ancient Granada is visible th through the mist. Bottomless voices emerging from nowhere with haunting steps and explosive flamingo steps, clicking emerge swirling veils and, lows, and lost in carstenets as a, as a child pulls the string making the puppets come alive in the aroma of their breathing. A play has begun, eternal and contemporary, comic and tragic, ethereal song that sings the silence of the earth as it drifts over piano keys, playing a melody of colorful notes that become mauve, gold, and violet. Lo lo lovely child of the gypsies, sweet darling boy of mysterious music, your sexuality is a robin's bro broken wing. Tiny blue eggs rest in a nest of storms of st straw swaying in the branches of the wind. And this hand touches your heart as your, your lips open and your tongue flows, fuses with his thoughts, lost in a kiss that makes the child and the ch clocks disappear. Hush in the breath of the moon, and the delicate breathe of orange blossoms as two one men become one, beautiful in their naked skin, because their blood flows through the heart of Spain, animating the fingertips of a poet who speaks everything without speaking. Yes, Federico Garcia Lorca, speaks everything without speaking. Look at the inflection of his hands, the shade of light in his eyes, the sculpted delicacy of his face, as his voice confronts a social order of, mon of money, hypocrisy, and murder, because the taste of one man of love between two men or between two women is anathema. Except, of course, the, to the luxurious, to the lecherous priests and nuns, the only exception to the rule, because the holy Roman church doesn't talk about it. So it doesn't exist. Words of love are yeast that makes the heart rise and soar singing in the sky so it can touch the reviving fire of the sun and bring it to its rightful home, the earth. Peaches blend the breeze with, with the sweetness of water, flowing forever until it touches flower and fire and becomes the golden crust of bread so everyone can eat. Frederico, you hear when nothing can be heard, because as a poet, the 
taste of salt, of sounds and music and colors, dancing on, cla on, the, on sand, touch on, a, turn on a point with your arms and legs as your toes touch tiny shells and, pe and pebbles in the, abroaring, in the abandoned roar of the sea where your tender body is spread before your lover like a picnic so you both can feast on each other's souls. Thank you.